So you got a flight to catch and you hustle yourself to the airport. You, you make that long drive, you get to the airport, you park your car, you run in, you go through security, you finally get through security, you run to your gate and you get to your gate and there's the word that causes so much frustration, delayed, right? Now let me just in a side here say that the delays are not the pilot's fault or the flight attendants, because I know some of those. It's usually not their fault. It's usually the weather or something happened with the plane not getting there in time. But you know what? Here's the thing. It doesn't matter, right? Delays are so frustrating, especially when you're in a hurry or you've been in a hurry and you've done everything you could to be someplace on time and then you hit a delay. It is so frustrating. And here's the other thing about delays. Not only are they frustrating, but they can often cause within us some very poor behavior, right? I mean, have you ever been delayed and you start acting in ways that you know you shouldn't? You start taking out your frustrations on the people that it's not their fault and yet at the same time, they get the brunt of your anger and your frustration. That's what happens when we're delayed. We hate delays. Now, this all got me thinking about a time uh, in the history of the nation of Israel. And if you know the story, most of it can be found in Exodus. Um, but in the story of Exodus, we hear how the people of Israel were being kept uh, prisoner. They were not prisoner, they were, they were kept slaves in Egypt. And they were put to work in Egypt. And so they cried out to the Lord for rescue. And God responds. After 400 years of them being in this place, God responds to their cries and sends Moses, who begins to, through the power of God, begins to soften the heart of the Pharaoh. But every time it would get soft, it would get hard right back again. And eventually, Moses impresses upon Pharaoh, again, through God's power, to let the people go. So he lets them go. They, they, they go out into the desert, all of them, and they get stuck right there at the Red Sea, and they think that's going to be it. But God opens the, the, the water so that they can walk through. Then they get out there in the desert, finally feeling as if they're safe from the Pharaoh of Egypt and all of those who have been pursuing them, only to find that they don't have food. So God feeds a manna from heaven and quail, and then they don't have enough water, so God provides water through a rock. I mean, all these times of God providing for them. Um, and yet really what they want to do this whole time is just get themselves settled. And for whatever reason, God creates this delay for them. Well, there's a story that by the time they get to uh, chapter, uh, chapter 32 of Exodus, where um, Moses now, who's been leading them through this and who's often been frustrated with them, um, and has tried to be the mediator between them and God, um, is, is they, they, they arrive at Mount Sinai. And God has instructed Moses to come up to Mount Sinai so that God can give Moses the law that will guide them through their time in the wilderness, but then eventually is supposed to guide them when they establish themselves in the promised land. But this is what happens. Moses goes up to the mountain, he begins to meet with God, and God begins to give Moses all of these laws that will guide them through life. And this is what happens. Verse, uh, chapter 32, verse 1. When the people saw that Moses was delayed to come down from the mountain, he had been up there for 40 days. When they saw that he was delayed to come down the mountain, the people gathered around Aaron and said to him, Come, make gods for us. Whom shall go before us? As for this Moses, the man who brought us up here out of the land of Egypt, we do not know what has become of him. Aaron said to them, take off your gold rings uh, that, you, uh, that are on your ears, uh, on the ears of your wives and your sons and your daughters and bring them to me so that all, so all people took those gold rings from their ears and brought them to Aaron. He took them. Uh, took the gold from them and formed it and molded it into the cast of a calf. And he said, these are your gods. 
this calf. These are your gods, O Israel, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. It's a really interesting little story there because they had been waiting all this time and God had been acting. God had been doing miraculous things around them. But they get to that place at Mount Sinai and now they're delayed 40 days from being able to move on and they start to make poor decisions. They start to act poorly. Not only that, but now they've made this golden calf and they think, well, you know what, we'll just go ahead and believe that this is our God because this delay that we're experiencing right now is just too much for us to handle. We're done. And that's what can often happen to us in times of delay. We can become so frustrated and so angry and so tired of waiting that we start to make those bad decisions. And I think in some ways this story is trying to show us what's going on behind the scenes, so to speak. During that time of delay, God was acting. God was giving Moses the law that would be for them a guide for what's coming next. And sometimes that's what happens in our delays. It slows us down. It creates space. It, it, it tells us, you know what? Where you're headed right now isn't what's most important. It's what's going on right here around you. At least that's what I think God was trying to do for the people. But they just weren't going to have any delays. Maybe you're in a period of delay right now. Maybe you feel as if there's something going on in your personal life, something going on within our culture, something going even within the church maybe, within whatever's going on, maybe at work. And that delay is really causing you frustration and anger and bitterness. Perhaps what needs to happen is to just step back and to pray, maybe even God don't end this delay, but God help me understand what this delay can teach me. People of Israel made some poor mistakes, but here's the thing, God didn't leave them. God continued to be with them and eventually they did move on from that place. And eventually they did reach the promised land. But they had to be delayed for that time because God needed to mold them and make them into the people that God needed them to be.